Here we go. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Here we are at Iron Republic in Belgrade, one of the two locations with Ivan. So, thank you for coming on the channel. So, why am I talking about Ivan today? Well, he may have the strongest grip of anyone I've ever encountered. Uh, maybe even more than Vitalik. I mean, like, Vitalik pulls a 3.5 COC gripper, and you maybe can do a number 14. And you've closed a four in the past, right? Yeah, the lighter one, though. They come in different distances, and this one I got with me is an average four, which is really hard. No one's ever done it, so. <laughs> so that's a big deal. Okay, and I'm going to be participating. Usually, I can close a three, no problem. When I was on wrestling training religiously, maybe every other day, I was able to close nearly close to three point five. So I haven't done much arm wrestling training. I'm assuming I can close a three today but definitely not a 3.5 and most certainly not a number four. And what's so special about Ivan is that the size of his hands are roughly the same as mine, aren't they? Yeah, if you want to get a bit closer and see them. <clears throat> yeah, actually, <laughs> they may, you know, the length of your fingers may be a teeny bit smaller on your, like, your middle finger. Um, the thickness of your hands though, especially here, this is rock solid. You guys can't feel that. Maybe you can see it, but it's rock solid. That's iron in there. Yeah, that's iron. Uh, how many years have you been training for it? For the captain's brush? Training about a year and a half. Okay. And I've started out three years ago when I was 16. And now you're holding? 19. He's 19. First of all, I think he's like 25, actually. You told me you closed the court when you were 19, but I thought that was years ago. Babe, how old do you think he was? 25? Yeah, at least 25, I thought. And you'll see. It's the beard. Soft, it's the, the beard, beard, yeah. You're soft spoken. You don't give off like a 19 year old's energy. Anyways, uh, that's, not a pick, that's not a dig at you, by the way. <laughs> you just look mature. Um, we're going to have some fun with the Captain of the Crush. And these are certified Captain of the Crush. Awesome. So there's no fake grippers here. We don't do fake weights. Uh, I'm really excited. I've never seen anyone close with even a 3.5. Khaled. And Vitaly were the strongest hands I've seen with the grippers. Uh, they both nearly closed the 3.5. Even Vitaly at the time, I think, didn't close it. Um, we did some other cool stuff with grip, though. So I'd be really impressed, even if he did the 3.5, let alone a number four. So let's get started. This is the extension band. And you put it around your fingers like this. And you just kind of do it. Open it up. Kind of works out to tag me stuff Okay, makes sense. And then we're done this very warm. Even this isn't easy. How low, how high or low do you have it? Like above the knuckle? Right on the fingertips. On the tips? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. You know how easy he was doing that just now? <laughs> <laughs> Where can you find this? What, what is that? Okay. Is that it's just a good genie? Good genie? Yeah, so it's Oh, sick. All right. Um, yeah, I usually warm up with uh, chew and then go to the Okay, so he skips the 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, one and a half, and then 3, 2, 2. So generally, if you're your average gym rat, right? What would be considered good 
I think 1.5 would be considered pretty good. If you gave 1.5 to most people on the planet, they would start with the club. So for sure, yes, uh, that's right. That's accurate. I remember I did uh, a handout with like a one and a half or two for the arm wrestling practice in Dubai, and many people couldn't even get it. Some, some do the two. That technique aspect to it, you know, the type of setting the grip. And of course, a lot of people don't train it specifically, so when they first try it, they don't know what to do with it, and they kind of just do it this way. Yeah. It takes more than I think the setup, how you set it in your hand, definitely makes a big difference. Uh, so before you squeeze it, just let's always bring it up to the camera to make so people can turn the scene to number two. You see the number? Yeah. Okay. Usually I just kind of warm it up where I would set it. All right, clap on the two, no problem. The left, not nearly as good as the right. But I think if you're setting your left, is different the set you're right. Yeah. Okay. Warm up with the two, okay. Okay, yeah, a real two. It's definitely a real two. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, my left is struggling today. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I was skeptical. When I heard news of a teenager closing a number four, I was like, his hands must be enormous, like college, for example, or super long fingers, he must be a mutant. But dude, I mean, our frame is very similar, same hand size. I mean, you're still a teenager. And I think only what maybe 10 or so in the world that pulls number four? Were yeah, so in terms of certification, so since 2004, no one has certified on it because wow. they changed the rules in 2004. It used to be that you could set the gripper to right about here and close it. And now you gotta take the card, you gotta set it like this, you gotta show the card passing through, and then close it. And that makes a huge difference. So since then, no one's closed it for. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But even still, even if you get the original set, even if you get it down, it's rare. Yeah. I mean, there's only like a handful of guys that. Are and they have monster hands. Like I think Magnus is same since one of them, right? Yeah, Magnus Samuelson. Yeah. And he's a giant, he's like six foot something, six five, six six, six seven. Okay, and he's closed the door. But again, this is a giant, and he's one of the few, less than a dozen, who's ever closed it. This was over ten years ago. So let's uh, try to get the two. Do you skip the two and a half? Or? Normally, I do uh, two, three and a half, and wow. then go to attempting four to see if I can get it. But today we'll, we'll do the baby numbers, of course. It'll be three, three and a half. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 Oh, of course, yeah, there's no rush, buddy. No rush, man. No rush. Yeah. So, why are you resting then? How do you train these? Like, is it every day? Is it once a week, twice a week? No, I train them maybe once a week. I'll do them. That's it. Yeah, sometimes I won't even do them for two weeks because it's a really CMS thing, you know? There's a lot of times you get you get tired just from trying to close the grippers. I mean, you know, you try to take the tire off. Oh, yeah, very quickly. Your first attempt, your best attempt. Yeah, usually. Yeah, you won't get a better first attempt than your first attempt. There, there's different people that do different workouts, so some people will do three days a week, that works for them. Some people will do once a week on the same day and they'll do a lot of reps. But it seems to be very, it seems to be a lot of variability. See significant results for you, I may as well give this a lot of once a week in my routine. Yeah, I mean a lot of it is the time and stuff. You see, just like an arm wrestling, you get the time and stuff. They really, it takes a while for them to build. So because of that, you know, doing them multiple times doesn't really, doesn't really seem to help me. It might help other people, but for me, it's, it doesn't work. It's usually my best. I mean, mostly that can get it. Today, I feel like maybe one of them may not get it. Um, my grip doesn't feel like super strong today. 
see. You know, it's probably because I jumped straight to a two. Like I've always went with one, the point five and the one at my gym in Dubai. When uh, I train at my gym in Dubai, we have all the grippers from point five, so it's easy to warm up. I remember I saw that video. You were, you were between, yeah. yeah, I was shocked. I, if I keep training for it, I mean, maybe I can get. I'm sure I can get it. I'll teach you uh, how to step down. Okay. Yeah. After the, I guess it's too late now. I'm able to do the way I know to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Yeah. Show numbers. Yeah. So, <laughs> number three. Let me know when it's clear. Mm. But it's not showing. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it shows. Oh, okay. One second. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. get touched but that's not gonna be my best attempt of the day the left definitely not gonna happen oh sorry, sorry. a little bit closer can you go no that's just the brightness zoom out a bit yeah yeah three. now it's showing. It's showing three yeah. okay <laughs> wow just to warm up should i would uh bust here as well <laughs> i'm impressed already do you train your left as well? Or? No. Zero training of the left. That's sick. <laughs> uh, the three, like it's nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think it may go down today. After seeing that, I'm convinced. I'm already convinced. I have faith. This is a 3.5 Captain McCrush. I'm going to close this one day. I have to come close. Wait. Turn it around like this so I can see the number. See? Okay. And when I close it for the camera, which is where you think would be best, like hold it like this or maybe well, like this? Just angle your body this way and then you have your hand showing you out. This way, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can get it out nice and close so you can see the close. Yeah, you can get it close to like that. That's perfect. Okay. How is this set? Looks all right? We'll work out that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was my best effort. It's a left. <sighs> yeah. I got closer last time I attempted it. So, but I was training more grip stuff. I was doing armor and specific grip exercises that weren't directly for a captain of the crush, but it definitely helped a bit. Because I, I can just, I just felt a stronger connection when I tried to squeeze. Now that connection is not as strong. But, uh, I know sling does help a lot for the grip, but I would say that uh, the way that they use it is a little bit different. So you grip, usually bend the wrist backward a little bit and you close straight down. And I'm wrestling, a lot of it is containment. You know, you hold on to somebody and you try to keep them from slipping. Oh, and you just try to Can keep them contained like thing. this. And, yeah. yeah, arm wrestling, you have to do everything wrist flexion. So you're never here. But even still, like with this, yeah, I'm always keeping the wrist a bit back. It'd be so much harder doing it. Cause impossible. It's impossible. You yeah, can't. Yeah. I mean, you can train with grippers for arm wrestling, but you wouldn't be closing the three and a half and four. But um, regardless of that, <laughs> no matter how you try, I remember even uh, a couple of friends, uh, like Sharif, Adam, with two hands, tried to close it. I think it's even harder with two hands. Yeah, yeah. it is for me. Yeah, yeah I think it's even harder. I will do it with card. You want to do it with card? Yeah. Okay. I don't think you've ever seen that. So I haven't actually. Do you do I Usually need when to... people try to close three and a half in your videos, they do it with the set, you know? Yeah, it's true. I'll, with, I'll do it with card. It's a lot harder. Oh, okay. That's even more impressive. Yeah. yeah. So this is technically like an unofficial 3.5 certified close. You do it with the card. Like, I can be the pretend official, but. I mean, if you do it with the card versus the set, it's definitely harder. Alright. 35. Okay. Okay. You got the card here. Okay, a bit closer, babe, please. One second. Don't close it yet. Um, oh, wow. Okay. No problem at all. <laughs> Madness. That's. Not even a strain, not even 
an enlarged vein in your face. <laughs> Nothing. Super easy. That was really good. That happened so fast. I was like, wait, hold on, look at the angle. And I'm like, oh, it already happened. <laughs> That's good. That four is definitely getting close. Let me just feel the four. Oh, let me just feel it. Don't even get me started. <laughs> oh man, the difference between the three and a half and the four is bigger than uh, the two and the three. Really? Bigger than the two and the three? Yes. So the difference between the two and a half, sorry, the difference between the three and a half and the four is bigger than the difference between the two and the three. Let me turn a little bit more this way. Which way? This way? Yeah, just angle your body more. Oh, that's more like this. this. This way. This way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah and everything's in focus now? Oh, wow, yeah. It's not moving at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a difference there. I mean, I can't even close it three and a half, so the difference for me is hard to feel, but because I'm so far from closing it. <laughs> yeah, it's that last inch, man. It's like that last inch is, it's, it's so hard. Every inch counts, every inch yeah. counts, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm pumped. I'm hyped for this, this is sick. That's a big deal. So how did you discover you were so good at grip? Well, I always knew I had a strong grip, you know, my family members always told me like, wow, your hand is huge and everything, and you know, you have a really strong handshake. But when I was 16, I saw a bunch of videos from Juju Mufu. And she did a video with Chet Johnson and Brian Shaw and all those guys. And they were trying to grippers. And I was like, it looks good. That looks tough. You know, they're struggling to, to do some of those. And I was like, I got to buy one of those. And I bought a 1.5. For the first time, I closed it out of the package. I was sick. Okay. Without training for it, without having to get yeah, cool yeah. to do it. Okay. That's a big deal. And then I closed uh, two out of the package first time a couple months later. And then a two and a half out of the package. It was the three that stopped me. <laughs> okay. So the three was the first gripper that I couldn't close first time. And that took you how long to close that after you tried it for the first time? About seven months. Seven months of training, yes. wow. Well, not really training. I was just trying to pick it up and squeeze it every once in a while to see if I could get it. And each time it was closer and closer, but man, it was hard. <laughs> All right. And then when you finally start training weekly, how long before you close a three and a half? Um, about a couple months. Yeah, I want to say from about February to uh, April. Yeah, about April. Okay. And this will be your first attempt with this number four? Or you tried this number Many four? attempts with this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, sick. We have a long feud. <laughs> well, today we end that feud. Hopefully. We end that feud today. So that gripper has had enough victory. It's time for you to take a turn. Take a W today. One day. <laughs> today is that day, man. That three and a half is too easy. You saw that. Clapped it. Usually I grind it. I don't know if that caught it. Hmm? I grinded it as well. I don't know if it caught that on the camera, but usually when I'm a gripper, I close it. So, but a little bit easier. I try to grind the handles together. Uh, you know, certain dominance over the COC. Yes. I yes, like it. Better show. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like Levon with Devon, you know, Sir Dominance, <laughs> over the center table. Yeah. Yeah, this is your version of it with the grippers, no doubt. So, number four. That is definitely a number four. Okay. Here we go. Close it. Oh my God. There it is. Wow. There it is. <laughs> That's definitely close. That is definitely a number four. Okay. Here we go. Close it. Oh my God. There it is. Wow. There it is. <laughs> That's definitely close. Wow. <laughs> you gotta feel proud after that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you gotta feel proud after that. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
I can see he's jumping with joy. <laughs> Holy hell. It took so long, it was like, finally. Jesus, hell yeah, man. Good job, honestly. Shit, that is not an easy task. That is not an easy task. Average four. And that's an average four. Yeah. Not like an easy four. You see this tag here, it says 96.2. That's the amount of kilos it takes for it to close straight down at the very end of the handles. When they do the manufacturing and they say 365 pounds, uh, they usually do it at the middle of the handles because it's closer to the spring. It's going to be a much higher number. But to compare them, you know, to compare the fours, it has to be, you know, uh, at the end of the handles, it takes less weight and you can compare them much easier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, I'm still in awe. That's awesome. That is awesome. And this is your first official close with an average four. Yeah. Sick. Well, what is there left to say, I guess? Good job. Good fucking job. Uh, I know it's a real deal. I mean, the 3.5 was hard as nuts. This was even harder. So that is definitely the real deal. I can't wait till you do make it out to Dubai and we can get you on the table with our guys. Because uh, I'm sure they'd love to feel what that's like. <laughs> Uh, by Devon, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. 100%. He'd love to pull you. 100%. He would definitely. Would, yeah. Devon, Hermes, yeah, Vitaly. Yeah. Look yeah, at the yeah. boys. Look at the boys over. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. Well, you know, we um, this one is short and sweet. We wanted to see if he can close the number four, and he most definitely proved us right. He did close it. It was legit to me. We got both angles from my phone and hers. And um, just good job, man. We most invited to Dubai, to Dubai Arm Wrestling Club, but else, anytime, you're most welcome. We'd love to see you on the table, see what that hand can do in arm wrestling. We've seen what it can do with the grippers. And this makes you have the strongest grip on the channel. We've had the strongest men in the world on my channel. The strongest men from all over the world. And none of them have displayed a feat of strength with grip like you just have. So you should feel proud. And thank you for, uh, yeah, please, you deserve it, man. You deserve it. Um, guys, this guy is legit. Please comment below if you thought he could do it or not, especially with his frame. Uh, <laughs> again, he's always unsuspecting guy. If you see him in person, he's not one of those, well, he's so much bigger in person. No, he's just, you know, a well-built guy, you know, with a normal frame, so. That makes it even more impressive that he has non-giant hands and he can close the number four. Even if he did have giant hands, it would still be impressive. So enough of me stroking your ego. All right, we're gonna wrap this video. If you want to support his journey, he's only just getting started 19 years old. I'm sure you'd be surprised what else you can do in the world of strength. Uh, we support you, we got your back. Link down below, follow Ivan, and I'll see you in Dubai. Enjoy Serbia, man. He has a soft handshake too, which makes it even more unsuspecting. I shook his hand in Barcelona. I was like, I don't think he's going to close the number four. That's for sure. <laughs> he didn't try and break my finger. You know, some guys, they squeeze your hand like this on the fingertips. I hate that. He didn't do that. He just gave me a normal, soft handshake. And I was like, okay. Yeah, kind of a dead fish. Like, what's this guy about? You know, what, what can he do? Number four? No way. Not with that shake. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun today. Thank you, man. And we'll see you guys soon in the next one. By the way, go to purelifestyle.com for the best lifting gear, wraps, belts, merch. We got it all. And we'll see you very soon back in Dubai.